Yo, what's up guys? Say Chronicles here, talking about a topic which I was hoping not to have to talk about, but definitely something I should talk about. And that is how free-to-play friendly is this game. I made a video about it before and I really praised this game for being very free-to-play friendly. And that was because it was highly valuing you putting time in to play a certain amount of hours. And for that way you can get your resources anyways. So what is the pay to win resource mainly? That's crystals. Crystals you use for refreshes and all of that kind of good stuff. And as free to play, um, you were somewhat more limited to that, but you could have certain workarounds where you could still get your crystals. Those were, for example, the best way was exchange center. What I personally did, I didn't really care about the mining. Like to be honest, I think the mining change for free to play was even worse. Because I in NA, I played four months, free to play and I didn't mine ever. So it's not that mining was needed for free to play, not at all. Because what I did is I sent a lizard out for the most expensive materials on the shop. I sell those materials for a healed and then I sell these reels for the crystals and then I can do my path of growth refreshes, my Kairos refreshes, my repeat ticket refreshes. I did so many refreshes on just that mechanic of sending the lizard out to getting certain materials. That's your exploration. You can send them out every six hours. It's kind of keeping on track of that like every six hours i just send them out again with like again the most expensive materials and repeat that and therefore get my crystals but ever since mining got automated a lot of people were mining and everything got very cheap so that was already kind of a hit for free to play and then everyone was shouting like free to play needs to be able to mine more because free to play used to be mining all the time um I call bullshit, but that's like, how is free to play getting that much gold to even buy all of the pickaxes? But yeah, I guess, I guess some free to play people were mining a lot. So they wanted to mine more. So they upped it to 2000 and everyone and like a thousand for free to play. And it was like, yeah, they listened. I'm like, um, I'm not going to lie. I think they only made it worse for free to play and hear me out on that one. It became so dirt cheap on this shop that it was just not useful to mine anymore. Everything was just so freakingly cheap that the value of mining got lost and the value of sending out the lizard got lost. And therefore it was harder and harder to get Rahil and therefore crystals. Well, apparently I'm like, okay, um, they can't really make one worse than that one, right? Oof, boy, I was wrong, holy shit. So what did they do? What was their plan? Well, their plan was actually, let's limit the prices on the shop. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen this happen in the game before. Maybe you're familiar with it. Maybe it completely ruined the game. They had another update after that completely destroyed the game and it never recovered from it. And in the end, after many years, the best thing what the game ever did was not revert it, but open another server with the old update of not having that nonsense in there. Maybe you know the name by now, but I'm talking about RuneScape. RuneScape made this mistake in like fucking 2005, 2006 of a limitation or putting a limitation on the trading system. And I'm really feeling like this is the same shit. And you can already see what's happening with it. But let me first explain what is it. So if I want to sell certain items right now, I have a minimum price and a maximum price. That is a very small margin, like an insanely, insanely small margin. Also, you can already see the highest price. It used to be at 5K. Highest price I can say sell it for right now is 480. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like some more of these materials, you're absolutely never going to sell. So for example, if we take uh, a material used a lot, branches. Branches used to be... Average price 600, highest price I can put it for is 60. That is divided by 10. That makes absolutely no sense. I'm also not sure if they took the prices from the individual server and capped it to that. Probably not, probably they just took the Korean price and just hard capped it on that, which is highly stupid because every game at a different state has a different market because people use different materials. It absolutely does not make sense to hard limit this. I will get to in a moment one of three reasons or maybe a combination of the three reasons why I think they did that and then also why they still shouldn't because it's still stupid. But let me give you a few more examples like other items that 
kind of sell pretty well cobalt oh, i don't have enough cobalt to actually sell it um weapons like any of the weapons oh, i really have that thing let's let's look at the buy weapons any weapon right now that you buy is 40k naraka weapons are 56k or some shit like what you can also already see no one is selling it even on like many of those things like for example it used to be all of the materials were having some sell value currently if we check emerald is not sold on the shop emerald complete is not sold on the shop uh platinum complete is oh that, that one's actually sold on the shop but that's actually kind of wait isn't that more expensive this is legitimately the only thing that i see on the shop that actually had like the old price and the new price is kind of the same holy shit but where, where's all the materials like where, where's all of my mid-tier materials i legitimately only see two like people are just not selling it anymore because it's not worth the gold investment to get these materials and sell them for this dirt cheap so you're pretty much not just limiting the marketing to a certain price people are just not going to sell it anymore like normally this list is like insanely long of how many craft things are sold on the shop currently there's probably much fucking nothing sold on the shop like legit why would you sell this shit because it's so dirt fucking cheap that there is pretty much no point in selling it so therefore okay sure you can get all of your materials yourself right now without a mining and that kind of stuff but we also don't have unlimited gold so i'm really like i don't know man same as like these uh weapons especially light and dark for the newest raid went for like 1.2 mil 1.5 mil that kind of crazy stuff Currently, the highest selling price is 56k. That's absolutely ridiculous. That makes absolutely no fucking sense. So then, the main reason that they stated... Let me actually grab that. Oh, wow. As I'm reading this, they made a post eight minutes ago. So perfect timing. Going to read the, that in a second as well. Let's see if they already changed something. So I hope so. But let's first look at the thing where they said, like, okay, what are we going to change and how does it look like? Okay, so this is not exactly the post that I was looking for. Okay, so this is the original post, what they posted. So, currently there's no limitation. However, I'd like to summon us uh, purchasing items at an extreme prices. Or extremely high prices. Um, isn't it with marketing like ask and demand like if the ask is higher than the demand the price goes up so extreme high prices come because it's an extreme high value item the only way that you can actually drop that price is by making that item more accessible it's not by limitation of the price like let's say uh, you make all cars in the whole world 2k US dollars because cars are being sold for one and a half mil what is going to happen? No one's going to sell a fucking car. Where the fuck would you sell a car for 2K? That's absolutely stupid. A car is worth more than 2K. Like, sure, some shitty cars are not worth 2K. But let's say all Lambos are suddenly 2K. A Lambo is more expensive to produce than 2K. So you cannot limit the price of a Lambo to 2K. That is absolutely ridiculous. That doesn't make any fucking sense. But let's actually say, like, let's read if they, what they, because they have a decent wall of text on it for uh, what they do. Okay, firstly, we'd like to apologize for the inconvenience because, thank you. Like, okay, the Chronicles team is trying to monitor feedback from summoners. Okay, appreciate that. We acknowledge that we're unsatisfied. Yes, definitely. We'd like to inform you that chances were made. We did not provide enough uh, prior explanation. I think your explanation, well, to be honest, Okay, they're actually going into some players were abusing the system by uh, play chat. Okay, bots and bright healed. I'm not even sure how I have to say it. Do you have to ruin the shop to prevent botters from using the system? In all honesty, you are saying summoners were purchasing items for extremely high prices. Do you mean Rahil's, um like real world trading, what we have seen? Isn't it very simple that if a summoner buys a certain item for a very high price, you just fucking banhammer them? It's RWT, it's fucking real world trading, it's not rocket science. 
you don't have to limit the price like if someone is constantly buying certain amount of items for an extreme price that just means rwt it's very simple real world trading you ban them you don't have to limit them like limiting this shop is the most lazy approach you can take and also the most stupid approach because you're really ruining the whole like marketing and pretty much all of the prices in the game that makes absolutely no sense also people that had like multiple accounts selling stuff to themselves for dirt cheap that kind of stuff is easy to track just use your fucking resources to track botters and ban them use your resources for people that are wt and ban them it's not that fucking difficult if you give a list like let's say you do a monthly list of like okay we banned an x amount of people for rwt everyone's gonna be like i'm not gonna rwt no 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 i have value in my account if you never make any use of that people are going to rwt left right center like sure this prevents it but it's also prevented from everyone to buy a fucking lambo if they want to buy a fucking lambo if they have that kind of money because no one's going to sell a lambo for fucking 2k usds like, oh my, this is literally just like i don't know man so many games have made this mistake already before and other games have learned from other games to not make the mistake it is so simple you just actually put an anti-cheating system in the game so people can bot people can rwt you're not going to ruin the gameplay for everyone like what the fuck but okay let's continue reading uh, the chronicle team has put uh thoughts to prevent abnormal usage through the system now <laughs> Okay, so we don't want people to abuse the system, so we're going to make it that bad that no one uses the system. Look at how many things are sold right now. What the fuck? That's the, therefore we chose such a drastic measurement. No, you don't do this kind of shit. You just ban them. It's not that difficult. It is legitimately not that fucking difficult. You just actually, like, dude, hire me, and I'll fucking, like, I give you a monthly list, a weekly list, I don't give a shit, of everyone that has a fishy account, you look into them, air they are, they'll be thing, ban, easy. You make, a, you make it publicly, like, you public fucking name shame them, I don't give a shit, but at least you make it publicly, like, hey, we have issues with bothers, we have issues with RWBTing, we're doing this and this against it, and we're hella banning them. It is just a method of people being like, shit, I'm gonna get banned. I don't want that shit. You're not gonna just limit the fucking shop for everyone. Like, it, this even tilts me more for like the lazy. I'm like, I'm really liking the game. They're doing so many great updates. Like, there's so many legit, legit good updates. But there's just some of these small things that are so impactful that are just felt lazy with. Like, that, that's, that's the only approach I can say. It. It's a lazy approach, and therefore you ruin it for everyone. Like, you legitimately, you ruin the complete marketplace of your whole game. You're pretty much bullying all free-to-play players away. Or everyone that doesn't spend that much. What the hell? So, yeah, okay. Uh, the exchange report uh, function added in the chat. Okay, blah, blah. We closed for 48 hours to so adjust prices and prevent any system errors. Okay. Would be beneficial to players what is the benefit <laughs> what what is the benefit that no one is selling it anymore because these like most of these materials are so expensive to get you're not going to sell them for this dirt cheap thing that is just more accurately you define like some of these prices went down 10x you cannot do this like simply you have to do it for each individual server because I'm pretty sure this just came straight from Korea server and distributed to all of the other servers. Korea server is four or five months ahead of us. And Nay server is two, three months ahead of us. What four or five as well. And Korea server is actually eight, nine. We are in different state of the market. We are in the fucking bronze age and they are in the golden age. You cannot say like, okay, wood has the same price across a bronze age and a golden age. That is just a different material and it doesn't make sense. <sighs> So the thing is, the, the funny fact is, they are going to say like, okay, we're going to improve the price range and we're going to apply it in a week. Well, a week is long enough for people to just literally quit the game because they can't get their resource in. They can't get their crystals. They can't get their shit in. I think a week is, again, a fucking lazy approach. Again, also, this is not the way to solve fucking bothers. This is the most lazy ass bullshit way 
to solve botting or anything. It doesn't even, like, does it even solve it? Yeah, it solves it that also half of your current players are like, wow, that's fucking useless. I can't even buy or sell anything on the exchange right now. Also, apparently they're changing the prices. I recommend you to not use the whole exchange for the next week because it's absolutely garbage right now. Anything you sell right now, you would sell for a ridiculous price. So don't sell anything. That's my first uh, recommendation. And legit, the more I read that, the more I just get like tilted on like how stupid of the approach it is because just by you improving the price range, you would have to improve the price range on the prices of each individual server. But how are you going to improve the price range depending on the value that you get from the current week? Are you going to take the information from the last few weeks? Like that's, it doesn't make any sense. Take a normal approach towards botting. Take a normal approach towards RWT. Don't ruin your complete marketplace because you're like, oh, no, well, we don't have any fucking clue. Um, we're just going to do this. So actually, I was going to say, I think there's one of three reasons why they did it. And this one pretty much already answered it. They had issues with botters. Oh, fucking fix your bother. Like, I'm not, I, I don't even know what to say. But besides that, like, like, to be honest, if you limit how much you can mine, what's the fucking issue with bothers? I don't know. That could be me. I don't know. But yeah, that that. But I thought there would be a, one more uh, thing which could be the reason that they actually do it and it's not mentioned in here. And that is they're going to add in cryptocurrency, whatever bullshit in this game. And they probably want to regulate the market for that cryptocurrency nonsense coming in. That's one of the arguments that is going around and that could be one of the reasons why this is going so let's say absolutely redonkulous <laughs> if that's the case man fuck crypto man i i really dislike all of these games like yeah it's pay to earn it's like fuck off man you play because you enjoy the game you don't play to earn like to be honest that, that that's just my opinion about it that's and then maybe people selling stuff to themselves like on different accounts and that kind of stuff but Again, it's so easy to track. You have player A selling to player B for a redonkulous price. You're going to look into it. Ah, man. You have player A say, selling to player B for a way too low price. Hey, it's banned. Or give it a warning, a time ban. I don't know. Make it a list of like, yo, these people are abusing the system. They are banned. It is so easy. You're not just going to ruin the whole freaking marketplace for at least a week and a half. And then you're going to recalculate the price. Well, let, let me tell you that I don't have that much trust in you properly recalculating the prices if you were on the first assumption that selling something that used to be around like eight, nine hundred Rahild to 60. L let me tell you that you're probably not that good at recalculating prices if that is the general take that you take. Like, let me see, like, most of these prices. Um, well, this actually, this used to be, like, 900, but the highest price, it goes down a lot already. Because, well, it's been sold for that price because people are like, yeah, I have a lot of material, might as well sell it. How are you going to compensate for the people that sold things for a ridiculous price? Like, look at this. <laughs> Fame memory core. Who's going to sell this? This is divided by 10. Well, this is more than divided by 10. It used to be higher than that price. Like, all of these prices are absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, take more effort into recalculating prices. Let's say I don't have that much hope for... Like, same as this. Oh, this used to be 810. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm good at 50. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like, let, let me tell you, I have very little trust in your team um, recalculating this kind of stuff. My high, highest opinion, once again, I've said it a bunch of times already. I'm going to end the video here. Fix your shit in a different way. Don't ruin it for everyone. Well, that's say she's here. Sorry for the kind of rant video. It's slightly different. I'm very hyped about this game. I'm very enthusiastic about this game. And that's where my passion for this video also comes from. And that's why I'm also so annoyed that they fix things in such a lazy ass way. That absolutely is terrible. And sure, they're going to give us a bunch of sky stones, a bunch of gold 
bunch of gathering boxes and bunch this is fucking nothing like is this the compensation for someone that actually sold like their fucking expensive shit for dirt cheap this is a compensation of fucking nothing like what you should like they need a week they they close the shop for two weeks to ru or like two days to ruin it in the first place and now they're going to take a week to recalculate prices i don't know man it's I have no words. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. And see you in the next one. That's all I can say. Small edition. You know what they should do? They should close the shop for the next week. Because people are legitimately talking about abuse of a system. People are abusing the system right now to buy everything. In the hope that the price goes up. So if you actually want to protect your players, you should close the shop for the next week. Because... Everything is being sold out. Pretty much everyone I talk to is like, oh my god, I'm buying everything. I'm buying everything right now. Oh, I can't make so much money. People are legitimately abusing this stupid ass mistake that you're taking a week to fix. You should close the shop for a week. That's like, it literally, it, I'm not going to lie. It sickens me how some people are just like, oh my god like i'm gonna like i'm buying everything like i'm sitting in store like all day refreshing checking like oh my god i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna buy ores i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna buy that everything that's super cheap and it probably go up in price it is legit man if you're talking about abuse of the system you created the system that is more abused than anybody was in the past it just sickens me i don't know man not gonna lie